Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Al Fatih. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with Kuwait's deputy Emir and Crown Prince His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah. His Majesty the King was assured about the health of the Kuwaiti Emir His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah. His Majesty wished His Highness the Emir speedy recovery and prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless him with abundant health and wellness so as to return home safely. His Majesty the King confirmed the solid long-standing relations with between the two countries and their broadly peoples, noting that the Bahraini-Kuwaiti ties have always been a role model for relations between broadly countries in light of their kindship, common industry, mutual love and understanding, as well as bilateral cooperation across various fields. His Majesty expressed pride in the progress March witnessed by Bahrain and Kuwait thanks to the solid approach spearheaded by the fathers and forefathers, in addition to their advanced ruling systems, strong modern legislation, popular representation the existence of the requirements of comprehensive development and unwavering determination to continue their nation building process to meet their citizens aspirations the kuwaiti deputy emir expressed sincere thanks and appreciation to his majesty the king for his keenness to be reassured about the health of his highness the emir stressing that his majesty's fraternal feelings embody the depth and strength of the brotherly relations between the two countries and their people his Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa yesterday received a telephone call from President Gurban Guli Bermin Mohamedo of Turkmenistan, who congratulated His Majesty the King on the advent of Eid al Adha, wishing him good health and happiness, and Bahrain and its people further development, progress, and prosperity. His Majesty the King and the Turkmen leader reviewed strong bilateral relations and ways of further bolstering joint ties towards serving common interests in all fields. He hailed the advanced level of bilateral relations, stressing the kingdom's keenness on strengthening relations with Turkmenistan for the good of both countries and people's interests. The two leaders agreed to hold more meetings and step up joint action aimed to consolidate joint cooperation, especially in the political, economic and humanitarian fields. They also reviewed the developments of the novel coronavirus COVID-19 and global efforts to combat the pandemic and mitigate its fallout, wishing the world to overcome the crisis for all people to enjoy health, safety, security and equity. The Turkmen president hailed His Majesty's efforts and constant support to develop relations of friendship and bolster joint cooperation between the two friendly countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa held a remote meeting with Dr. Mohammed Nazrul Islam, the newly appointed Ambassador of Bangladesh to Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the progress being made within Bahraini-Bangladeshi relations and recognized the importance of identifying further platforms to greater collaboration. His Royal Highness welcomed the newly appointed Ambassador to the Kingdom, wishing him success in his diplomatic endeavors. It his Royal Highness the Crown Prince and the Ambassador discussed a range of regional and international subjects of common concern. For his part, the Ambassador expressed gratitude for the continued support from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince towards further developing bilateral ties and wished Bahrain further development and prosperity. In implementation of the directives and initiatives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa to celebrate Bahraini Doctors' Day on the first Wednesday of November of each year and to launch the Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Award for the Bahraini Doctor, a meeting was held at the court of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister between Sheikh Hassan bin Isa Al Khalifa, Minister of Health Faiqa Saleh, and President of the Bahrain Medical Society Dr. Ghad Al Qasim to discuss arrangements for celebrating Bahraini rainy doctor's day and review the procedures of the award. Sheikh Hassam stressed the importance of the initiative of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, which reflects His Royal Highness's visions and aspirations in supporting national caterers and in line with the efforts made by the government under His Royal Highness's leadership to achieve sustainable development goals. He pointed out that His Royal Highness allocated 200,000 US dollars for the award and celebrating Bahraini Doctor's Day, indicating that the award's general secretariat be began to develop the necessary scenarios and required procedures for handing over the award. He noted that the basic system of the award has been set and a committee to choose the winners was formed. He emphasized that honoring is considered an integral part of the developmental intellect of His Royal Highness, who is keen on praising and honoring the efforts of civil servants in all sectors in the kingdom, especially the health and medical sector, within the framework of His Royal Highness's efforts and vision to enhance the levels of human 
developments in all sectors in order to preserve the progress achieved by Bahrain internationally in this field. The Minister of Health expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his patronage to celebrate Bahraini Doctors' Day. For her part, Dr. Ghadi al Qasim also expressed thanks and gratitude to His Royal Highness for his continuous support for doctors and health personnel in Bahrain. The Kingdom of Bahrain, under the wise leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, pays great attention to health care through many programs, strategies and plans aimed at improving the best medical and health services to citizens and residents. The government, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, has been keen to develop the health and medical sector out of His Royal Highness's belief of its importance for human development. As the Kingdom of Bahrain witnessed a rise in the number of hospitals, establishments and modern and advanced health centers equipped with the latest therapeutic and diagnostic devices. Also, the government with the leadership and support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa worked to provide a strong and distinct infrastructure for health and medical care that is sustainable and able to deal with the challenges of overpopulation while at the same time preserving the quality of the services provided and ensuring that health care services are accessible to all. Based on the decision of the cabinet with the initiative of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to allocate a day for the Bahraini doctor on the first Wednesday of November of each year and to allocate an award in the name of His Royal Highness to honor Bahraini doctors distinguished in the field of medical and treatment research in appreciation of their efforts in maintaining the safety and health of society. This initiative received wide acclaim locally, regionally and internationally as many national events and Bahraini medical caters affirmed that it constitutes a high appreciation of doctors' efforts and sacrifices. At the international level, the World Health Organization's Director General Dr. Tedros Cabrisos hailed this initiative, adding that it embodies the meanings of appreciation and honor for health workers and their efforts in combating the coronavirus pandemic. This initiative also received Arab Gulf and international acclaim. The celebration of Bahraini Doctors' Day and the Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Award for the Bahraini Doctor gains increased importance at the present time, while the world is facing the coronavirus pandemic, as it is a celebration of doctors who stand in the front lines to combat this pandemic and reaffirms His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's keenness to develop health services as one of the main goals of the government and sustainable development.
the Minister of Health, Faiq al-Salah, conducted field visits to a number of testing, isolation and treatment centers during which the workflow and the quality of services provided were inspected in light of the national efforts to tackle the coronavirus. The minister commended the efforts of the medical, nursing, health and administrative teams on the front lines, which contributed to Bahrain's achieving a distinguished experience in the field of combating the spread of the virus and maintaining the health and safety of all citizens and residents in the kingdom. The minister hailed the continuous support from His Majesty the King and also thanked His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for their continuous follow-up on the efforts made by Team Bahrain to combat the virus. The Minister of Health began her visit to the 444 call center where she emphasized its important role in responding to all calls and providing the necessary support to cases. Then the Minister of Health visited the examination center at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center. The Minister also also made a visit to the International Hospital of Bahrain, which is managed by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus in cooperation with the Ministry of Health and Royal Medical Services. The minister concluded her visit at Al Sham Al Hospital, which is concerned with the application of the optional home health isolation policy for active cases according to specific requirements. At the end of her visit, the Minister of Health affirmed that the kingdom's success in addressing the pandemic came as a result of the capabilities and proactive plans that were developed and applied with dedication and integrated community efforts that contributed to limiting the spread of the virus in the kingdom. A press conference was held remotely with the participation of the President of Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh May bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and Director General of Culture and Arts in the Authority, Sheikh Hala bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and the Director of Culture and Arts, Farah Matar, in the presence of a number of ambassadors of the Kingdom to friendly countries and the contributors to the festival, along with a group of journalists and media personnel from inside and outside of Bahrain. The Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities unveiled the 12th edition of Bahrain Summer Festival, which will be held from the 2nd until the 31st of August. The Bahrain Summer Festival this year is different from the previous versions, especially since the BACA has taken all precautionary measures to present its activities from a distance. The two weather stations that have been installed in Daya and Hurat Ali have begun to provide data that can be used in the field of agriculture. The Under Secretary for Agriculture and Marine Life at the Minister of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, Nabil Abulfet, said that choosing Daya and Hurat Ali is due to the agricultural investment there. He added that the two stations now regard data around the clock in order to assist the strategic agricultural plans to adopt the latest technology in line with the climate. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 3,402 with 379 recoveries, 289 registered new cases and three deaths. 151 of the new registered cases are expatriates and 138 are contact cases. The deceased are 65-year-old and two 60-year-old citizens. The Ministry of Health urges everyone to adhere to the rules and affirm the importance of following instructions.